Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with a scripture from the Lord. We are in Ephesians, in Ephesians chapter 7 verse 12 as well as Psalm chapter 17 verse 6. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you Father God for provision even in the drought Lord God. Thank you for giving us a word in a time where we don't hear much word Lord. We love you. We praise you. We give you glory and honor in Jesus name. Amen. All right, you guys, let's get started. Ephesians chapter seven, verse 12. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly places. So if we know that all these authorities and cosmic powers and darkness and spiritual forces and evil are out there, then we can know that God is a God who protects us from them, right? He is a God who who makes sure that we are guarded and guided. Amen. All right, let's go to the completion for this. And it is Psalm 17. I verse 6, I call upon you for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my words. So it is a Psalm of David and it is calling out to God and asking him to answer him again, right? Answer me. I call upon you for you will answer me. Oh God, incline your ear to me, hear my words. And you can just, whenever I see that word incline, I just really picture the Lord on the throne, bending his head towards his children as they pray. And it's saying, incline your ear to me, hear my words. So David is calling upon him. He 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 knows and he's confident God has a good track record with him that he is going to answer his prayer. And he's saying, oh God, incline your ear to me, hear my words. And so um, God always hears our words, right? But here at least we know that the Holy Spirit is with us, right? He He's the one who's leading and guiding us into all truth. He is going to be there with us when no one else is there with us, right? It says, I call upon you for you will answer me. Oh God, incline your ear to me, hear my words. Um, the enemy is always busy. He always has people on assignment, demons on assignment, all sorts of things on assignment. And he's out to get the children of God. He's out to wrestle with them, right? And we just have to know we're not wrestling against flesh and blood. We're not wrestling against that person who's mean. We're wrestling against that spirit who's behind that person, right? The rulers against the authorities, against the cosmic powers powers over this present darkness against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly places, right? We have to be willing to, to do some battle in heavenly places, but even if we can't fight, we can call upon him, right? It says, I call upon you for you will answer me. Oh God, God is an answering God. It says, incline your ear to me hear my words he doesn't just sit back on his throne and look at you and wait for you to fall you have to know that we can call upon him he will answer our prayers if we call upon him and put our trust and our hope in him and and just surrender our lives right uh, if if the holy spirit says it's time for battle then hey full battle rattle put on all your armor right but if it's a time to call upon him, the Holy Spirit will let you know even that he's going to say, hey, call on the Lord, right? If you're feeling desperate, call on the Lord. He is going to answer your prayer. Amen. All right, let's go ahead and pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for these scripture conflations. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for being our guide and our friend. We love you. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
All right, you guys, if there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Father God, be my Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you pray that prayer and believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth. He's going to show you the way. He's going to to guide you um, in your decision making um, on a daily basis. And so um, do as he says, because he knows the future for you and he he knows how to get you exactly in that right plan for God, walking for him, running for him. Amen. Listen to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. It will not lead you wrong. Um, yeah. And and go out, be baptized in Jesus name. Find other believers who are like minded in the word and and stay sharp with them. Um, these are things that Jesus said he did not want us to forsake. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you as children as peace. Take care.